Hi, pollinator protectors. Today we're gonna make a really fun craft. If you've ever seen shrinkadinks, these tiny little things, I made these before we got started, but we can make these by upcycling or recycling some of our trash. So if you ever go out to eat, you may get one of these containers to take your extras home in, your leftovers home in. Well, when you look at these containers, anything that's recyclable has this fun triangle on it and inside there's a number. This says number six. This is a special kind of plastic called a thermoplastic. So what they do when they make these containers is they heat it up and stretch the plastic out. And then they put it into some type of mold and you get whatever shape. So this is sometimes called a clamshell because it looks like a, get it, a clamshell. So this is thermoplastic number six. But if you maybe get a side of some type of salad or some dressing, you may get a container like this. And if you look at the bottom, it also has the triangle with a number six. So either of these plastics will work, but the only plastics that will work for today's craft activity, it needs to have a number six. So have your adult pollinator protector, make sure you have the correct plastic. So what we're gonna do is as we go through, we're gonna turn the, this container into one of these fun little shrink -a dinks So how we're gonna do it is we have to use Sharpie markers. These aren't markers that you can color on everything because they're permanent. So you have to be really careful. So there's all different colors of Sharpie markers, but you're just gonna take your container and you can start drawing. If you're like, man, oh man, I can't draw very well. What you could do is put a picture underneath and trace it and color it in. So see, I'm starting to draw a bee. I'm gonna cheat for time's sake and look. Here I have a bee all drawn. So I drew it in Sharpie marker. Now, if you buy shrink a dink material at the store, it's a lot of times kind of cloudy looking like this plastic is and you can use colored pencils. So if your parents don't want you to use Sharpies, you can always go probably to your local craft store and buy sheets of the shrink and dink material. But again, we're gonna be nice to the environment and recycle, upcycle some of our trash. So once I have your shape, have an adult help you and you're gonna cut out your shape. And so once you have your shape cut out, these are kind of fun because they're gonna shrink and shrink. They get about a third of the size. So I have this, I'm gonna set that out of the way. Now, if I wanna be able to hang up my little piece of artwork, you can take a hole punch and just punch a hole. And now I will have a place to hang. I didn't make these hang. I thought they looked kind of cool just as collections but you can make bracelets, you can make all kinds of things with beads and your own little shrink-a-dink art. Key, you have to hole punch before we heat it up. So now that we have some artwork and I have my bee um, and we have a couple other little pieces that we'll be able to heat up, I can do the same thing. I can draw all over one of these cups and then we're gonna use the oven. This is definitely something that you need your adult pollinator protector to help you out with. So you're gonna set your oven to 350 degrees. This is gonna go really, really fast. So let me grab the last couple of things we need. And so I just have a couple more that I had drawn. And anytime you put stuff in the oven, just because you're gonna eat with it, I would always put a paper towel, a paper towel. I know what this is, aluminum foil. And so we're gonna use aluminum foil. You'll have your adult pollinator protector open up the oven for you. And you're gonna put in your shrink a dink material and you're gonna close the oven door. And then what you wanna do is watch now it's already shrinking. I don't know if you can see it from there, but it only takes like two minutes. So don't look away, watch really, really close. And you'll need a pot holder. Your adult pollinator protector will need a pot holder. It's almost done. So as we get it, it's gonna curl up. Don't worry if it curls up because it goes back flat. And so this plastic, when we get it hot, likes to go back to the shape that it was before we started. 
So I like to kind of use my pot holder. I'm gonna push this flat. Now this is gonna be hot, so you can't touch it quite yet. Let your adult pollinator protector help you. And look what we made. We have a little shrinky dink. It has a hole in it and we can hang this up. I can make sun catchers with these. I can do all kinds of fun things. So draw your favorite pollinator and put it on the website so we can all see your artwork. Hope you had fun making shrink-a-dinks with recycled plastic number six.